Hi gamers, I'm Sabre Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. So today we are <clears throat> finally showcasing the, um, the this hangar storage system I created. So um, I was uh, programming this for a long time now and the idea is to be able to store the um, Eagle Transporter modules um, in uh, hangars that I have uh, down here below the platform currently I have only one platform is this one here uh, but in the future there would be at least four hangars with four platforms like this one so there would be one here in, uh, in the front of that other one also another one here and another one here so what we are doing is um, today is we are testing the, the 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 storage system, and I have the Eagle Transporter um, currently uh, landed in the pad, and we are going to uh, store uh, the module. And for that, we need first to open the gates. Uh, but to open the gates is this gate here that you see but um, to open it we need to lower it first so I have here like a control room where, where um, we can operate all of the um, um, the storage devices so let's first starting by lowering the gate is this button right here and it won't uh, lower immediately because the Eagle Transporter is locked to it, as you can see here. But as soon as I unlock it, it will start to um, lower. <clears throat> so there we go. It's lowering the gate. So the idea is the following, right? If you have like uh, this uh, scenario that we have here of the Eagle Transporter um, landed and with a module here we want the the um, gate to lower first before opening it <coughs> once it's once it's lowered then we can open the the gates with this button that i have here in the control room and there we go it's opening and now we need to move this platform uh, to um, that uh, piston right there. So there's a button to um, bring up that piston in the in the gates. Let's try it out just to see if it works uh, because I didn't test this, but it should work. Like we are, um, yeah. There you go. Okay, so that works fine. Let's lower it again because we need the the piston lowered. And there we go. Okay, so now I think everything is set up to to move. We are going to move this platform to um, the gate elevator there let's do that and we will do that with a button here you see I have deploy and store so we're going to deploy hangar 1 let's take a look so you see that the platform is moving. So now it will merge with this uh, piston right here. Done. And now we will start moving in that direction. And it will um, release the um, the platform in the elevator piston there 
and the other piston is retracted. So there we have deployed the, um, the platform and now we have to rise it so the Eagle Transporter uh, module can uh, rest uh, on the platform. So let's rise it now. This is a little bit like, um, I thought that this was a little bit like um, X4, right? This, this um, sort of gates that you find in the, in the stations. There we go. Now we have to let the, the, the module, we have to, what's it called? Um, release the, the module in the platform so we are going to which one is it uh, yes so we need to release we can do it here right we can release the um, that one yes and then we can turn off the the load connector there we go so now we should have the the platform yes the 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 module now it's it's resting it should be resting here in the in the platform right it should be like that now we low, lower the the platform and there we go So it's lowering the platform with the module in it. Okay, and now we should um, store the um, the platform in hangar one. Is what we want to do. So we uh, press the button store hangar one. So you see right here that the piston is being extended. There. Now the module is being transported. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, I don't know why. It has uh, enough space. <coughs> Let's um, maybe it's stuck because of the. No, but the height is is perfect. Ah, that this is. Um, I didn't. I didn't test this before. I wanted to give you guys the <coughs> the like the first impressions of this but I think it's uh, probably the could it be the landing gears no ah there we are yes it was due to the um, to the w we should we should take care of this the next time like um, this is something of the um, of the landing gears that they if they are locked before the 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 whole object falls um, then it can be like floating in mid-air and um, yeah occupying more um, 
like um, having a, a greater height than the than it should be, right? Then. Okay, but it's currently it's working perfectly. Just uh, the next time we have to 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 take care of these um, landing gears. Okay, but there you have it. And now um, you can just um, close the 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 gates and also you could you could um, bring another module from another hangar this is like this would be like a re uh, really common use case like you have a module um, equipped on the Eagle transporter and um, you want to switch from one module to another and then um, you store one module and before doing like you you don't you don't um, close the gate right, right away but you load a new um, a new platform with another module in the elevator and then you um, you can um, equip uh, the new module okay so we can also test uh, to deploy now the the the, um, the platform. Let's try that. So now it's the other way around. Now we are deploying. Well, we already did the, this, but without the um, without. Wow! I don't know what what is going on here. Oops! It's like losing energy or something. Maybe it's because of the this is the piston or is the rotor? No, the hinge. Something's sharing everything. Let's lock it. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. It's like it lost the the state of the hinge. Okay. <laughs> I was afraid it was going to destroy the platform. Okay, so there we are. We have it in place and now we deploy it. We should rise raise the the platform, right? And now we will see the 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 the, the module coming up it's moved okay it's moved a little bit um, I think it was because of this um, uh, what's it called the the landing gear um, thing. Let's see what happens if we activate it. Hopefully it won't explode or something. No, which one is it? This one? Yes. But it's not um, perfectly aligned. Okay. But if I if I move the eagle transporter a little bit, it will it will um, it will match again. It will they will merge. Okay, but that's uh, no. that's um, our system. So it's uh, 
I think it's really promising. Now I wanted to show you um, how this system works. So basically I am working with three different um, computers or programmable blocks. This is one of them. <coughs> so this is like the main computer and you can see here that in the screen is, is um, displaying uh, the last ta task it performed like all the, um, the different um, steps of the process so the procedure was to deploy hangar one platform and first it verifies that the conditions are there to to perform the task and uh, the next thing is that it will deploy uh, the Hangar 1 platform then it, it is receiving a message from, the, from another computer that um, confirms that the Hangar 1 platform was deployed and then it um, issues the order to switch platform from the Hangar to the corridor um, uh, piston this is the this other merge block that you saw there um, and so on and it's um, it's printing out all of these um, things that are going on and this is very useful if you want to debug um, any issue with with a, with a procedure and here we have uh, uh, the storage computer this is the one that actually does the things and also it um, prints out here uh, the last task it, it did right like to rise raise the gate one elevator and this is the sensor computer and it also uh, has here uh, a report of what the last task it performed okay so and I wanted to show you um, uh, a diagram of the architecture of uh, this um, software that I did and here it is so you see here that we have these three um, computers or programmable blocks one act, acts as the controller it's like the brain of the system the other one is uh, acts as an executor like the hands and the other one is uh, acts like a sensor and it's like the eyes or the senses of the of the of the system and the arrows you see here are meant to uh, represent if they are reading or writing data and uh, everything starts with a user that interacts with a a panel a button panel in this case this is the user interface then it issues an order to the controller the controller then is the computer that has all the the the, the tasks to to be performed it has like an overview of everything and it issues uh, first it issues a, a, um, an order to see if the if the conditions are met and this is done um, through the sensor uh, com computer and this sensor computer it, it is connected to all these um, sensors that I placed in the in in the in the base and it reads uh, the sensors and then it communicates with the controller um, through messages there's a, a message interface uh, in in space engineers uh, programming that uh, uh, you can use to to have all this communication between programmable blocks and and then once the conditions are met then it issues an order to execute a task to the executor the executor then um, issues these uh, um, actions to the different devices in the in the base and um, and then the, the the controller will issue um, a command to verify that the action was executed and um, this uh, the 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 blocks mainly they are working in uh, 
with this uh, single like they run once um, but the sensor has a mode where it waits for something to happen and then it's uh, it makes the script update several um, times uh, using this uh, update uh, in every like every 10 I think it is every 10 ticks or so that it's it's checking if the condition is met so um, I thought that this was um, useful that I I separated like uh, these different um, concerns like these different um, um, types of tasks between uh, programmable blocks and this um, limited the scope of each uh, script so I have three scripts one for each programmable block and yeah they they got <laughs> longer than that what I was uh, expecting <laughs> but um, it was easier to handle all these uh, complex tasks by dividing the concerns and limiting the scopes of the scripts and reusing as much uh, functions as possible so that is uh, a basic overview of the of the architecture of this uh, uh, software um, so also uh, I wanted to show you the the sensor field range I have all these sensors you see here to detect if if um, the platform is in any particular place and if the pistons are in the correct position and so on and when are they are um, at certain places right so this makes everything possible so I think the test was um, a success we had some troubles um, but this is part of the of the process right I want to uh, give you guys some um, some update of, of this because later on as we um, study the use cases of the of the Eagle transporter we will need more uh, um, more uh, modules and we will need to like be able to store them easily and to uh, retrieve them um, in a straightforward way and th this is what I came up with and I was working with I I've been working with um, this system since I don't know almost three weeks now and I thought I was going to 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 have it ready sooner but a lot of like small complications small bugs small things learning also how all these um, programmable blocks work um, all these interfaces is challenging but we finally um, did it and um, later on then we will have the uh, the rest of the hangars we will close this platform here at the top and we will have um, yes probably uh, everything will be controlled from here I don't know if I will um, do any additional interfaces but also I will um, have a, an antenna here that you can like issue commands from a ship for example well let's see but it's a work in progress so we will continue with um, showing the, the the different use cases in the next videos so i hope that you enjoy this video um, also if you want to uh, follow me in twitter to um, uh, see the updates we we have we, i i frequently tweet about what i'm doing uh, or what what is going to come in the in the channel among other things <laughs> uh, so 
you can follow me at uh, Cyber Settler in Twitter. So, hope to see you in the next video. This is Cyber Settler signing off.